Okay, in this video we're going to be showing how to repair a sliding door catch that doesn't catch on a 1985 stroke 86 VWT25 stroke Vanagon for you in the USA. Come on, let's get to it and have a laugh. Yeah. So this is a sliding door, yeah? And this is the door catch, if it'll pick it up there. And if you can see, there's a, see how there's a slot there? What should that slot should do? When the door slides all the way back, that should catch on this mechanism here. Okay? But because there's nothing there, this catch if we can get a screwdriver or something to try and bring it down all right so you see the catch there yeah so what's happening is that's sticking up there so what's supposed to be so when it drops down now that'll catch on that lever that i've just shown you so it just pushes it up and catches in this slot so what's happening is this lever is sticking up inside this mechanism so i want to take it off the door um, I see what's happening. We need to remove this. We need to remove this. We need to remove this old rubbishy door card, which I am going to replace this. We've inherited this. So I'll use the same door card, but I'm going to recover it in the same material that the door cards are covered in the front. That's another little project we've got to do. Okay, what we need to do is remove this cap. So we just get a screwdriver behind that, little cap comes off. Try and get used to best practices and whatever you're doing. Keep things clean, have all the right tools available. When you take something off, put it somewhere you're going to find it. I know you're looking at my lips, beautiful lips, but try and keep things, so you're not looking for things, it just make, you, make your own life easier. I try and keep everything in one place. So I, I know where these are going, I've got a little counter behind me. It's on the kitchen actually, kitchen surface. I'm just going to put that on there. There's a Phillips head screw, dry, screw there. So I need to remove that. Okay, so originally years ago they had what you call Phillips screws, yeah? Phillips screws is a bit like that. So if you just look, look in between the actual flutes of that, it's just a clear flute all the way up, okay? Posi drives are different. In the flute, if you can see it, in that flute, the gap in between there, you'll see another little cut coming up it, yeah? They're called posi drive. If you put a posi drive in a Phillips, the posi drive will ruin the Phillips screw and vice versa. So make sure if you've got a Phillips screw, you use a Phillips head. It's just as a clean flute all the way up it, okay? Someone's used this and they've actually made a bit of a mess of it but I'm going to use a Phillips and hopefully I won't make any more of a mess of it. The other thing is make sure you use the right size head. A lot of people will use very small bits yeah, and they'll put them into big screws. All that does is it just damages the head of the screw again. So use the right size. Try it before you do it. Just All I did with that you can actually, you can feel that's not going to spin out of that at all. Whereas a smaller one would. So hopefully now we can get all that. It's quite tight actually. That should come out of there. Again, because I'm working outside, you have to be really careful you don't drop anything. Famous last words. You know what's going to happen now, don't you? So I'll just try and take that out of there. That's it, that should slide back. Again, what I'll do with the whole handle now, so there's the screw. I'll keep that screw in that handle and put it away with the other stuff. So the cap goes on there, the screw's in there, the handles, and they're all together, dead easy to put back. Oh, believe it or not, okay, there's only two screws holding this on. Um, so that's that's definitely a job that's going to have to be changed. He, he's covered it himself in the, it's actually a roof liner. That's, that's, that's a material used for a roof liner. I'll probably use this, and it's not very good, it's not even 
spray adhesives on. As I say, we'll change that. That's a job that I've, for the future. And another job we can show you what to do. So um, we'll get Michelle do that one. How about that? Yeah, she's good like that. She's good with her hands, like faffing around with bits of material and all that. So uh, yeah, I'll take it off. Michelle can cover it. Rock and roll. How about that? She's hoovering up now. That's what women should be doing. Oh my God, that's not going to go down well with you ladies, is it? Only kidding, you know I love her, 30 years married, I must love her. Anyhow, let's have a look at this door handle. My God, that's not going to go down well. I can see what the comments are going to be now. Ooh. Right, so I'll just show you something. If you, if, if you look, see how that's stuck up there and that's, it's nice and free. Nice and free. You can actually see where it's catch. I don't know you can see that. It's marked, it's actually catching, so when it's getting in the up position, it's sticking. We'll take it, we'll get it on the bench, we'll we'll free it up, we'll give it a bit more movement this way, a bit more clearance on the back edge here, and we'll try and clean this edge up. This part here actually connects. I'll, I'll, I'll move the video around, but this hole here connects onto a rod that's actually inside the door. So when you put it back, you've got to make sure you get this hole on that rod. I'll just I'll show you now before we put it back and before we take it on the workbench. Okay, so if you can see in there now this pin there. Okay, that's what I was talking about. So when you put the door catch back on, the hole in the lever has to pass over that to make sure everything works. Okay? So we'll get back in the workshop now. Okay. So here's the mechanism we've just took off the bus. Um Made in Germany. The, the, the old bus was made in Germany. I've actually uh, traced this bus all the way back. Come out of the Hanover factory. It's an original and it was um, converted by Auto Homes. So it's a, it's a top bus list that we've got. As I say, I might even get, you can actually get the birth certificate if you send off to, to, to Volkswagen in Germany. It's about 80, 90 euros, something like that, I believe, when you get the birth certificate, which I might do. So it was built in a Hanover factory got shipped over to I think it was pooling Dorset somewhere around there got converted by a company called Auto Homes who were one of the um, registered uh, Volkswagen specialists along with um, I just don't think it's something Devon and you know um, Westphalia um, they're the recognized ones by Volkswagen so yeah we've got a decent bus um, see now this is out the um, it hasn't got the pressure of the lever on that's working quite well but what I have noticed is this pin it's I don't know where you can see that but it's actually rocking okay so when it gets in the up position it gets jammed I can see where it's jamming if you I don't know whether you can see that or not but it's actually I'm just trying to show you it's not very difficult it's actually catching in here so it's jamming so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a bit more a bit of relief on the back of this mechanism I'll give it a bit of relief on the inside of the pressing. This is a pressing, okay. I'll then give it a little bit of lubrication in there. Um, and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to force this arm over a little bit because I can see that it's not straight. The arm itself it, it is the arm itself is basic. I can't get my finger right on that. It is bent like that, yeah. It's not straight. It's a little bit curved. So I'm going to try and straighten it out. Um, and hopefully it'll stop sticking when it gets up in the mechanism. Let's see how we go. that's not catching at all now what I'm going to do I'm going to tighten this pin up a little bit to take that, that lateral movement that it's got that can eat not whether you can hear that or not but it's got a bit of lateral movement so I'm going to tighten that pin up now okay so what I'm going to use I'm going to use it I've got a big uh, set screw here so I'm going to use that just to don't need a, a wallet but I'm just going to give it a nice Nice 
miles better. Miles better. Now look, we've relieved the back edge here in, on the internal pressing. We've relieved the actual uh, catch itself, the, the moving catch, you can see that. It's not catching anything now. And we've just tightened this, this pin here. It had some lateral movement on it, so that was help, not helping it. It was making it stick as well. So we've just tightened that up. And hopefully when it goes back now it won't stick, but we'll find out. I'll just put a little bit of grease on that dry grease. I'm not going in here at the present, but I'll put the dry grease on when we're on the bus. And uh, hopefully it won't catch anymore. We'll see you, won't we? So we're, we're back in the van now. What I've done with this now, um, you see what we did in the workshop, what I've actually done is I've actually put some, uh, like a dry, um, it's, it's, like a, it's like a dry uh, Teflon coating really. Um, it's like a lubricant. I'll stick it back, not forgetting to make sure that that hole, that hooks onto the lever arm in there, otherwise nothing's going to work. And we'll see how we go. I'm fat old. Well, I've got three kids. Got it right three times at least. So now you can see how it's dropped down. What I'll do is I'll push it up and hopefully it'll come back down with the mechanism. So now when we push the door, hopefully it'll catch on the lever. And I'm going to put the door handle back. It'll release itself. So well, that's the next part. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to put the door card back. It's a cracking door card, honestly. Uh, door card will go back temporarily. Um, and we'll sort that at a later date. And we'll see if this catch works. Okay. So that's the um, sliding door panel back. Door card. It's a little bit better than it was. I put a little bit of spray adhesive on the back of um, this headlining material that they've used. Uh, it's not the best. Um, but I've put some extra screws in it. I've noticed that this door seal here is, is perished, it's ripped. It's probably been dragged off by the door card, being poorly fit in the first place. Um, so I'll replace that door seal, make it watertight. Okay, there it is with the door handle back on in place. We've got the mechanism all back together. I've done the door card. Okay, so the door card's been put back on. I'll put a few extra screws in that. Um, we'll replace this at some point, like I've said earlier. There's the mechanism, as you can see moving freely up and down now we've tightened the pin up that it's on it'll take a bit of time to get a little bit of wear and tear usage into it that'll free it up even more it's probably a little bit too tight at present but I'm not worried about that um, all I am bothered about is when I slide it back now whether this actually catches on that pin and if it doesn't it doesn't slide forward we're happy days let's see what happens rock and roll there we go Right, well that's it then, that's the door catch sorted at long last, um, no more sliding door, um, so that's, I'm, I'm made up with that, that's good. I searched everywhere on the internet, on the YouTube for someone who's done a similar repair to that, who had the same problem as that, I couldn't find them anywhere, I could see door handle changes, I could not see anybody doing that door catch, so I hope it helps somebody else or you guys out in the future. Um, what have we got up next? We've got the oil change, we've also got um, some uh, festivals that we're going to. We're just coming into the beginning of the um, Volkswagen season now, so hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll get a lot more of these done. Um, yeah, so if you like it, thumbs up, please subscribe. We value all your comments, so stick any comments in below. Um, and for this one, it's uh, goodbye for now, keep safe, that's the main thing. Keep smiling. Okay. Bye everyone.